Hi, my name is Pastor Hal York, and welcome to Truth in the Trenches. Today we're going to be in Proverbs chapter 26, 23 to 28. Like the glaze covering an earthen vessel are fervent lips with an evil heart. Whoever hates disguises himself with his lips and harbors deceit in his heart. When he speaks graciously, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart. Though his hatred be covered with deception, his wickedness will be exposed in the assembly. Whoever digs a pit will fall into it, and a stone will come back on him who starts it rolling. A lying tongue hates its victims, and a flattering mouth works ruins. In these verses in Proverbs, we have a very concise, a very clear, a very picturesque description of a hypocrite. What is a hypocrite? Well, let me give you a description, then we'll look at these verses to see how accurate God's Word is when describing such a person. Hypocrisy is not the gap between doing and feeling. It's the gap between public persona and private character. The sin of hypocrisy is in using the appearance of goodness to cloak the deeds of evil. The sin is in thinking that whoever that who others think you are matters a great deal more than whom God knows you to be. Now think again about the verses we just read and how often a reference or illustration is used to picture a covering, a deceitful covering. Silver dross covering an earthen vessel. The outward covering hides what the vessel is truly made of. It's a false impression, giving the impression this earthen vessel is much more valuable than it truly is. However, what you see with your eyes is not a true representation of the vessel. This is like fervent lips that are hiding an evil heart. What you are hearing is not a true representation of the inner character of the person speaking. It's hidden by the lying lips. Notice the next verse. Whoever hates disguises himself. There's that imagery again. Deception. Hiding. Again, the way he disguises himself is with his lips. The lips are hiding what is really in the heart. Well, why is it deceitful? Because his lips are gracious. They speak favorably to you, but don't buy it. Don't believe him. It's a disguise. He's pretending. But what are these gracious words hiding? Well, the proverb says, seven abominations in his heart. But there is a promise this person needs to take heed to. Though his hatred may be covered with deception, hear the, hear the imagery again. Hiding or pretending to be something on the outside, you are not on the inside. Though his hatred may be covered with deception, his wickedness will be exposed in the assembly of God. You may fool some of the people some of the time, but you will never fool God. God doesn't just listen to your words. He knows your heart. He knows the deception, the lying, the pretending. He knows the real you. And one day your life will be laid bare before him and you will be judged not by what you pretended to be, but according to what you really were. What will be revealed on that day is a corruption of your heart, your motives, your thoughts. The real you will be under the spotlight and nothing will be hidden. That stone you started rolling with your deceitful lips, your flattering tongue, hoping to hurt and deceive others, that stone will come crashing down on you. That pit you dug with your fervent lips and lying tongue, hoping others would fall into it, you yourself will fall into it. You will experience the very things you were hoping to avoid or, or inflict onto others by your deception and flattery. He sums it up at the end. A lying tongue hates his victims and a flattering mouth works ruin. Hypocrisy hates his victims. It works ruin. But the one who experienced it to the fullest is the hypocrite himself. Hypocrisy is the air of pretending, of talking a good life, but inwardly taking no joy or delight in, the li in living a good life. The desire to be well thought of is what hypocrisy is rooted in. So we pretend to be something we're not. The most useful tool for pull, pulling this off is our tongue, how we talk about ourselves to others, what we imply in our talk to others. What impression are we seeking to leave people about ourselves? Is it real? Is it honest? Is it true? The hypocrite is not the Christian who struggles against sin fights against temptation, and keeps doing what is right even on his worst days. The hypocrite is the person who uses a veneer of public virtue to cover the rot of private vice. The Christian life is not an act. It's not pretending to be something we are not. It is a transformation. It is new birth. It is regeneration. It's new life. A Christian is a Christian because of what Christ has done for him. We've been forgiven. Given, we've been given a new heart. And with that heart comes new desires, and new love for God, a new love for Christ, a new love for God's Word, a new love for God's people. It's an inward change followed by an outward change. 
The Christian life is a struggle. It's filled with temptations and battles against the flesh and the spirit. But the Christian is not afraid to be honest about his struggle. That's what Romans 7 reminds us of. A Christian is a person who admits they're sinners. They're inwardly sinful. They're not pretending to be perfect. They're professing a new life in Christ, forgiven, cleansed, clothed in the righteousness of Christ. 1 John 3, 1-2 reminds us that we are not yet what we will one day be. Beloved, now we are the children of God and has not appeared yet as yet what we will be, but we know that when he appears we will be like him because we will see him as he is. And everyone who has his hope purifies himself just as he is pure. We are not what we will one day be, but thankfully we are not what we once were. David says this, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He brought me up out of the pit of destruction, out of the miry clay, and he set my feet on a rock, making my footsteps firm. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and will trust in the Lord. We are not what we will one day be, but thankful we are not what we once were. That's a Christian. We're not perfect, but we are going to be in heaven one day because we are clothed with the perfect righteousness of Christ. So be careful with your tongue. Be careful. Do not, by your tongue, imply that to be things that you are not. Be honest. We can afford to be honest. We need to be honest for the good of others and for the glory of God. Hypocrisy is not the gap between doing and feeling. It is the gap between public persona and private character. So don't be like that earthen vessel covered with silver, but inside it's just empty. It's not a true representation of what you really are. Remember the, how Jesus described the Pharisees? They're like whitewashed tombs. Inside their hearts are evil and wicked. But on the outside, they look very, very good. We want to be the real deal. We want to know Christ and live for Him. And that's what a new birth is. It gives us a new life, a new heart, new hopes, new desires. And we can be real with others. We can be honest. And that's the Christian life. We don't need to pretend. We can be real. So may the truth guide us and guard us in the trenches of life as we seek to live our lives for the glory of God and the good of others. May God bless.